let me show you three of the very best trade routes you can do in Star Citizen. Make money fast trading astatine, medical supplies, laranite, as well as titanium. First, I'll show you where you can get a whole bunch of astatine, starting with SMCA6. SMCA6 is located on the moon Calliope in the Microtech system. Out of the three locations where you can get acetine, SMCA6 isn't all that glorious. The two best places, which I'll show you after we get done here. Oh my god, this storm is so awesome. Like seriously, this storm looks glorious. Alright, let's get inside before I stand out here for hours and just make a video on a storm. So this location is generally good for small ships, but if you have a giant C2 like I do right now, chances are you're not going to be able to fill up here. Yeah, this is pretty much average. Anything under about 100 SCU is what you'll find. SMCA6 has the smallest server tick refresh, so yeah, I wasn't expecting to load up. Let's head to the next spot. I've been to Calliope countless times, and like, I never remember the storms looking this good, CIG. Like, damn, it's totally awesome. All right, let's set up our next location. We're going to hit the main planet on Microtech. We're going to be looking for the Shubin Mining Facility SMO-22. This place, like the next one I'm going to show you, is the freaking mother load for hooking up on acetine. Pretty much every single time I'll load up the C2 all the way. You know, I probably should have said if you have the C2 Hercules like I do, don't even bother going to SMCA6, because you'll be wasting your time. And ain't nobody got time for wasting time, am I right? Especially when you're trading. You know, I can't wait until CIG comes out with new systems and maybe they'll have a place that's kind of like the Bahamas instead of a whole bunch of daggone snow and ice constantly with storms all over the place. Yeah, sure would be nice. Where people can run around basically naked if they wanted to, you know, especially the ladies. Set inside, get this damn snow wiped off my face. Hey man, I know you're gonna hook me up, aren't you? This guy right here literally breaks his neck around the clock just so I can have all the daggone acetine I could ever want. Now I can guarantee you I'm going to fill up because I always fill up here. It's so totally and completely nice. Since we're stuffed to the gills with acetine in this C2, let's head over to Microtech and get this stuff sold. This run should net us at least 130k in profits. Right after we get all this stuff sold in Microtech, we're going to head over to the Shubin Mining Facility SMO-10. Guaranteed going to hook up this C2 all the way again, completely full, just in one trip. Now let's head over to Microtech. Not even going to land at the airport. Because you know what? Running through town, riding trains, and then running through town again is a big fat waste of time. Oh great, of course it's going to be dark when I'm flying in here and landing trying to show you guys how to find the four domes. Oh well, this should be all kinds of fun in the dark. Just over Microtech right now, those three lights off in the distance, that's the airport. Now you can see the four domes. There's actually a tram line that connects to those. One of those four domes is where the TDD is located where you can do all your selling at. As you get closer, you'll notice there's a little rectangle kind of garage attached to that giant center dome there. That is the actual entrance to the surface that you can run in and then go in and sell all your crap. It's really quick. Landing here on the ice lake right next to the trail that goes up to the main domes there is so much faster than landing at the airport, running through the town, catching the train running through the town some more to go sell then you got to go and do that in the reverse to run all the way back out of town catching trains and all that crap ain't nobody got time for that let's put this into perspective if i would have landed at the airport by the time i would have sold i would have already been at smo 10 buying my product there to fly back so yeah this is way 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 better oh yeah let me in it's freaking cold outside all right get my face wiped now as you run up here just to the right over there you can actually summon ground based vehicles if you want to this elevator here is going to take us directly to the commons which is right next to the tdd we just got to run through here a lot of npcs like to run laps around this i guess you know even npcs can get fat if they don't exercise so you just run through here run up into the new babbage plaza and we're basically almost there right now. That awkward moment when you're staring at my butt cheeks. Just run all the way through factory line. You'll pass the big giant globe there. There's the TDD. Now we can sell all this astatine. Generally from time of purchase all the way till time of sale right here takes less than 10 minutes if you purchase from SMO10 or SMO22. That's 130k. Since I'm totally and completely space greedy, I might as well go over to SMO10 and, you know, buy another full load of acetine instead of telling you that you can go over there and actually buy a full load of acetine. You know, it's way better to show you and me make a bunch of money. 
If you get to Microtech and it's storming out and you walk up the hill really slow, the nice thing is, is when you're coming back to your ship, you're going to be running down like a marathon runner. So if you're having a hard time remembering where to land, just look for the giant nipple in the middle. A lot of people love to run Laranite and Titanium, and hell, I'm one of those people as well, but I'm telling you right now, hands down, this Acetine run completely and totally dominates that Laranite and Titanium run over in Hurston. Like, hands down. Like a glove? Man, it's a beautiful day here at SMO10. You know, Microtech basically looks like Alaska in the winter, and I'm from Alaska, so I love it. This right here is a big reason why I like space trucking and Star Citizen. Like, we got to see that glorious storm. Now we're seeing a beautiful day with the C2 in the background. Totally nice. Dun dun dun. So are we going to be able to fill up all the way just like I got done bragging that we we're going to be able to do just a little while ago? Yep. Because this place is totally awesome, just like SMO22. Man, I love this trade route. Seriously, you, sir, are doing a fabulous job, and you have wonderful taste in shirts and pants. No, man, I'm not trying to ask you out on a date. I'm just complimenting, that's all. Nothing like having an entire cargo load full of acetine. You get to catch a beautiful sunrise early in the morning. Space pornography. I just love it. You know what else I love? Not landing at the airport. Running through town, catching a train. Running through town again, selling my crap. And having to go and run all the way back and ride trains back to the airport. Hell with that, Jazz. You just start trading in Microtech more often. Screw you, trains. I'm going home. Ton nice. It's uh, still dark, but the uh, wind isn't blowing in my face, so I'm able to run uphill a lot faster than last time, which is totally wind. Back at the terminal, it took me about 10 minutes, maybe just a little bit less since it wasn't blowing in my face this time, to make another 130k. Ain't nothing wrong with that right there. That is some super good money, really fast turnaround. Now that we made a whole boat pile of money, might as well do something super duper risky. I definitely do not recommend that you do this, and I'm going to show you why. This time we'll be dealing with medical supplies. I'm going to fill this C2 up all the way. Well, at least I'm going to try to fill the C2 up all the way and show you what not to do. I like to get uh, my medical supplies in two different places here in Microtech. We're going to head over to the Moon Clio. Then we're going to go over to the Rianari McGrath Research Outpost. This isn't my first choice. I usually go to Rianari Anvik first. If you ever wanted to go racing, it's really super easy to find the racetrack on the way to the McGrath Outpost. Here we are at McGrath and my oh my is it a lovely day here. I love the greenest sky they have here on this moon. If you want to have a better shot at loading up your C2 all the way in just one load, definitely head over Rianari Anvik instead of McGrath. Yeah, man, the dress code here is way more serious than the other place. You have like a nice shirt on and a tie. No, I'm not asking you out. Chances are we're not going to be able to load up here. Generally, I can only load the C2 about halfway, sometimes a little bit less than halfway, but yeah, we'll see. Looks like we're only able to get about 259 SCU. That is unfortunate, but expected when you come here to get meds from this place. Now, I could fill up with stems all the way, but I'd rather get meds. Although running meds, man, super risky because of how expensive they are. Let's head over to Calliope where we can hit up the Rianari Anvik Research Outpost. That way I can totally crap myself if I end up filling up this whole entire C2. Oh man, I was hoping for some more glorious space scenery, but instead it's totally and completely pitch black out. I guess it's a good thing I wore my brown pants today. Because if I'm able to load up with a full load of medical supplies and then show you exactly what you should not be doing when you buy all these medical supplies, well yeah, I'm going to be freaking out for about the next 20 minutes or so. Alright, so you're probably like, yep, let's head right over to Microtech and make a quick sale, right? Because, yep, right after you saw me sell a whole boat ton of Astatine over and over and over and make a bunch of money, you're going to think that you can do the exact same thing with medical supplies, and, well, you'd be wrong. Since this is the quickest location, basically the demand gets all scarfed up super quickly, so you're not even going to be able to sell, like, hardly any of these medical supplies. Well, let's find out. I'm totally skeptical because I've made this run multiple times now, just testing things in the 317.2, and looky there, I can only sell 89 SCU, which is a total and complete drop in the bucket. I'm now stuck in a situation where I have a little over 1.1 million just sitting there rotting in my cargo. What's even worse is my ship's not stored, so my stuff's just chilling there. You know, it can blow up. 
On the way out, I figured I might as well hit up the admin office and see if I can sell any, and of course I can't. You used to be able to sell 5,000 here every time. On the good side, though, what a glorious day today. Kind of makes up for all the Hershey squirts I have in my underwear now. Lorville and Hurston is going to be about the closest place, so I'm going to break my neck and get there as quick as I can to get my ship stored. The other issue I'm pretty sure we're going to run into is you can only sell about 50,000 at a time. But, you know, we can't do that until we ride the ridiculously long train ride all the way to the place where we can actually sell our stuff. Made it to the terminal, stopped off at the bathroom to change my underwear and put on some cologne, because man alive did that stink. Alright, see, like I said, we can only sell 50,000. That's their max demand per tick. Ah, man, feeling a whole hell of a lot better after this sale. Well... Mm, guess I'll just go find a chair and sit my fat butt in it just for a little bit and wait for the server tick to happen. Then we can sell the rest of our medical supplies. Ah, here we go. There's a nice leather chair. I mean, if you're going to totally and completely waste your time when you could be making money, you might as well, you know, sit in a nice leather chair or something. Well, oh, that was a completely boring five minutes of sitting in a chair. There were no poles or beautiful ladies dancing around. And of course I wasn't able to sell all my medical supplies. See, never run full loads of medical supplies. It's just a colossal waste of time, so I'm going to buy a whole bunch of scraps so I can test something out that I think you might actually like. So let's find out what's faster. Buying all your Laranite and Titanium on Aerial and then selling it at Lorville, or skipping all the train rides and flying directly to Microtech and then landing right next to the cell location. Really quick before we do that test, because I'm going to time both, I'm going to sell all this scrap here at Ornith. Ornith Reclamation is literally right next to Lorville, and they always buy your scrap here by the freaking boatload. I think their max demand's like 500k or something ridiculous like that. And a looky there, we're able to sell at least a thousand med supplies. That's pretty half decent. Pawn off all the scrap here. If it would have been a full load, it would have been 32k, but you know, I'll take it anyway. Let's head over to Ariel. I think I'll hit up Lathan first. We're going to do our time trial there. I'm pretty sure I'll probably be able to sell all these meds there. So what do you think is going to be faster? Selling right here in the exact same system at Lauraville or heading all the way out to Microtech and selling there? One's way closer, but has a totally and completely gruesomely long train ride, and the other one will not. Time starts right now. We are going to fly all the way out to Microtech on our very first trip, then fly all the way back here. Time stops when we get right here back at the terminal. Uh, still can't sell all my medical supplies, and uh, what the heck, it's going to let me sell more medical supplies? Guess I'll just, you know, do that then. I swear to God, we better be able to sell these medical supplies when I get back to Microtech. Alright, let's snag up a bunch of Laranite. Well, as much as we can get anyway. We'll just fill up the rest of the cargo hold with a whole boat ton of titanium because you can always hook it up with a whole boat ton of titanium at Lathan or Bezdek. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of try to break my neck to get there and back as quick as possible so this won't be just like a lollygagging run just for posterity since it's timed. Made it to Microtech, it is officially 6 minutes and 6 seconds later. 12 minutes and 25 seconds later, we are inside at the cell terminal, hopefully selling all these god dang medical supplies. Finally, we got rid of all those daggone herpes covered medical supplies. Now we can sell this Laranite and Titanium as quick as we can. I don't know, I think these times are going to be pretty close actually. Like we didn't have to ride the mega long train ride of doom, but we're going to still have to quantum a long distance twice. Back at Lathan, man, looking at these times makes me kind of want to throw up in my mouth because my time would be way, way better spent running acetine. But hey, you know, this is for science, and science is very important. Going to stop the time as soon as I get next to the terminal here. Total time was 24 minutes and 21 seconds to get there and back. Reset my time starting right now. Let's buy up as much Laranite and Titanium as we possibly can. We're going to fly it over to Lauraville and see if we can actually beat that 24 minutes and 21 seconds to Microtech and back. I've made this run countless times from Lathan or Bezdek to Lauraville. I can tell you what, this is going to be a close race. Man, it sure would suck if someone blew me up right now. I'm most definitely going to be mashing my boost as much as I possibly can. I did the exact same thing trying to get in and out of Microtech. Horrible man, you look like you should smell like a sweaty armpit. 
So I don't really mind landing over there at Microtech if I'm actually buying and selling at Microtech. Like, what the hell? Is that like an 890 landing gear or some crap as I'm coming in here? Jesus, somebody lost their capital ship or something, man. Those poor people. We are only 5 minutes and 43 seconds in. We got our cargo landed safely. Well, crap. That's really not going to help our time much. I have the feeling like if we miss the train ride back, we're probably not going to beat that microtech time. Standing around over and over, it's exactly what I like to do. Might as well, you know, do it on a train too, I guess. We made it to the cell terminal at Lorville. Time says 11 minutes, 46 seconds. Basically, we got here 29 seconds faster to the cell location. Oh my god, are we going to miss the freaking train? Go! Go, you freaking fat bastard. Get in there, man. Oh, my God. Oh, I swear to God. Oh, yeah, that probably totally and completely screwed us over, like bent us over the edge of the railing without any kind of lube whatsoever. Man, I hate train rides. Oh, wait a second. I, you know, wasn't even on the train, so here's your train ride. Oh, yeah, we It's so much fun. This place smells. You know, they should have built two of those side by side so it looked like gigantic space McDonald's. Back at Lathan, I actually might be able to beat that Microtech time. It's still going to be super duper close, though. Depends on how fast I can get out of this freaking massive ship. Oh, yeah, I think I've got this totally and completely in the bag since my guy's so in shape and can run super duper fast. It's the final countdown. 24 minutes and 4 seconds. Even though the Lorville time came ahead just by a mere 17 seconds, the big thing is that you can get your ship stored really fast in under 6 minutes. So, yeah, even if you can average a little bit faster flying out to Microtech and back, ultimately it's not worth it. It's just better to get your load stored safely in under 6 minutes, and we made quite a bit of money. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to fly back to Microtech and make at least a million really quick selling a bunch of Astatine. Thank you very much for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.